Hello! Welcome to Fashion and Style. Today we will talk about fashion after 50 years. Famous people like Carolina Herrera, Madonna, Jennifer Lopez or Julia Roberts have shown that overcoming the 50 barrier is nothing more than something symbolic. Style and elegance remains inside us and is reflected outside if we know how to work and know some tricks. We give you the keys to dressing well after 50 and we reveal the best kept secrets of well-known faces like Carolina Herrera so that elegance and style are part of our hallmark. Do not miss it. Although fashion has no age, the truth is that when we surpass 50, there are a series of guidelines and tips that we begin to take into account to dress well. And not because we don't feel comfortable with our style, but because when we reach a certain age we are more concerned, even if possible, with looking good and feeling identified with our style and our body. Because yes, each of us has our own style and no one can take that away from us or change that. But it is also true that, as we age, our body changes and our way of dressing should also, or at least evolve and adapt to the new. We must accept the changes, evolve and adapt to the new. There is no point living in the past and clinging to it as if there were no tomorrow. We have just turned 50 and it is time to see if our style really represents us and reflects who we are and how we want to be. Although it is very common that when we talk about style and fashion our heads automatically envision women between 20 and 40 years old, the truth is that 50 is also an unbeatable companion for fashion and style. As it is rightly said now, 50 is the new 40, and we couldn't agree more with that statement. And if there is a clear example that style abounds after 50, it is Carolina Herrera. One of the most globally recognized designers and style reference in the world who has shown that the years are not a burden in terms of elegance and style, quite the opposite. But what is the key to dressing well after 50? Write your opinion in comments, so we will see what you think. We see it! First, you must be clear about what your own style is. As we have mentioned, we each have our own style and that should not change style that we have achieved and created based on testing and making mistakes. Having our own style is key to expressing ourselves in the best possible way, and so is striking a balance between our essence and personality. It is not about stopping being ourselves to dress as they say we should, the key is, having our style as a reference, adapting it to new times to continue being the same or more elegant and stylish than what we were until now. Avoid exaggerations as much as possible. And we are not saying that you have to give up your favorite style and clothes, but that you know how to combine them and take advantage of them. Try to find a balance between the most basic garments with other more special ones that make you feel unique. White, black, gray, navy blue or sky blue are some of the tones that should not be missing in our wardrobe. They are also not lacking in the wardrobe of Carolina Herrera, who, having the white shirt as the absolute axis of her style, combines perfectly with those discrete colors to which we have alluded and whose look adds an extra bit of elegance with accessories such as necklaces or brooches. Do not forget the accessories. As we have mentioned, there is no elegant Carolina Herrera look that does not lack a detail, and not an accessory either. In fact, we dare to say that they are essential. A look made up of basic clothes with discrete colors can become something special by adding a scarf, an elegant bag, a necklace, earrings, or a brooch. It gives you nothing more and nothing less than that special touch that, sometimes, the outfit needs so much. Quality prevails over quantity. Less is more is a reality. And also in fashion. It is better, as specialists point out, to buy one or two quality garments each season than to buy more non-quality garments. If we talk about quality garments, it is inevitable to refer to materials such as wool, cashmere knit, and satin. Nor should we overlook the quality of the footwear, whether shoes or sneakers, and the bag. There are those who say that elegance begins with the feet, and so we must take it into account. In relation to this last aspect, it is interesting to make special mention of slow fashion or sustainable fashion, a commitment to the responsible consumption of clothing in which the quality and durability of the garments takes precedence over quantity. A way of being respectful of the planet and the rights of workers that tries to find its place at a time when fast fashion, the fast fashion that drives consumption and production, has a great role in society. 
We cannot forget that our hair must always accompany our perfect look. A good hairstyle that combines with our style, that gives us comfort, is essential when it comes to looking perfect. Remember that being fashionable is not about looking good to the world. It's about looking good mainly for yourself. I hope you liked this video, leave your like and comment your opinion on this topic. Don't forget to subscribe so you can help us grow. Have a beautiful day. A hug.